welcome to the little piece of Adam Farm. This is, it's about mid-June of 2021. And do a little bit of a garden tour. And my lima beans are still doing good. Still got that little agro crop on top. Keep critters out, eating them. Celery still doing good. Using that brush of sprouts, and there's nothing forming on the plant yet. Here's my uh, red wing onions, doing quite well. I gave them a shot of nitrogen for the last time. Soon here they'll be starting to bulb up. Right beside it is a chocolate cherry tomato. Some ripe chocolate cherries on there. Here's some of my beets. Right there are some uh, green beans. Cauliflower. They're stark. Starting to form the, well, excuse me, they ain't cauliflower, this is broccoli. I don't know if you can see in the camera if I pick it up or not, but it's starting to form heads. This one here, I took the top off and already harvested some broccoli out of these. And I still got some more here getting ready. But I'll put that little clip right here and I'll show you me harvesting them. And we'll be right back. And Well, here's our broccoli. It's growing very well. I don't know if you could see it through this mesh or not. But there's head down there forming. This broccoli here is ready to harvest. Yeah, it's kind of hard it won't focus past this mesh. Anyway, I'm going to take the top of this mesh off and I'm going to harvest some of that broccoli. And this uh, mesh, although it's hardware cloth, worked very well keeping the mices out and anything else that wants to go in there and eat your coal crops when they were seedlings. And the side benefit, it also kept out that white butterfly, whatever the name of it is, it likes to lay eggs in there and then you get these tiny little green caterpillars all over it and that likes to eat holes and all over your leaves and, and shit all over it. So anyhow, I definitely will be putting this cage on here again next year when I grow cool crops. So let's go ahead and take the top off and harvest some broccoli. Okay, got the top off. Next year I gotta come up with a better system than that. But anyway, time to harvest some of my broccoli. Another nice big head.
There you go, and there's my harvest for the day. As you can see, even though you harvest ahead, you can see more of them coming up. These will be wet much, much, much smaller heads. All right, we're back to our garden tour. Over here is our red potatoes, doing very well. Or at least plenty of greens, anyway. We'll find out when it's time to harvest if we actually got potatoes or not. Because sometimes all it wants to do is grow greens. Sound like cucumbers are coming along. Clump of celery, some snow peas. Over here are some more of my green beans. And we planted some horseradish that my wife started from horseradish that she bought from the store doing very well. Here's our tomatoes. It's just about reached the top. Here it is about mid-June. I'm getting some ripe tomatoes. Now a little split right there is from getting too much water. And it did rain a lot the night before. And another ripe one. Yep, volunteer potatoes blow them. Another chocolate cherry tomato. Over here is zucchini. green beans that there is kohlrabi that finally came back after being eight down and you see it's been it was eight down these are all new new leaves the same thing with our water spinach they're all looking really good now after they've been pretty much eaten up but ever since we put this solar spike that creates a noise and vibration in the ground that seem to have kept the critters away. So in turn, all our plants are, are growing without fear of being eaten. And there's our peppers. And a lot of nice yellow peppers. Over here we harvested our uh, radishes and our Swiss chard and lettuce. The Swiss chard did bolt, so it was time to go ahead and yank them all out of the ground. And we planted some more green beans over here. And this side we planted some more radishes. And we got a fox right here protecting that crop. These are our potatoes doing well. Your spinach chard. There's more of our tomatoes. It's just about reached the top of this one too. And there's also some tomatoes in here getting ready to be picked. Another one down there. A lot of tomatoes. There's another snow peas. And here are my red 
snap peas. Finally, the birds stop eating the seeds, so I'm not too sure what kind of harvest they'll get out of these. It's getting kind of late in the year for snap peas around here. Volunteer sunflower. Here's our garlic that we're going to harvest. And there's some that we've already harvested. And now our carrots are starting to grow nicely. Once we got this hardware cloth on top to keep critters out and eating the tops off. Over here is our corn. That's going to be our first crop of corn. And here's some more corn starting to come up, and that'll be our second crop. Probably by next weekend or so, we'll plant a third crop of corn in this plot. Right here is my sweet meat winter squash. As you see, I put a little hardwood off over it to keep birds and critters from getting in there eating the seed. That's my butternut. Got my watermelon growing. So far, so good. And over here is my cantaloupe. Back there growing up the fence is marin berries. Here's my strawberries. Looks like I need to get out here and start harvesting some of these strawberries. It's hard to see through the camera because it's kind of dark. Let's see if I can... Beside them is my blueberries. Probably by the end of the month, I should be picking some blueberries. This is our little resting area. Well, yeah, thanks for stopping by and checking out my quick video of our garden tour. June 2021. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.